my brothers. My chicken tender loving brothers. Look what we have here. Well, according to the thumbnail, you already saw what we have. So I'm going to show you the main entree what we got here. See what we got here. Look at that. Look at that. This is tender review number... I, I always forget the number. Also, it's been way too long. Uh, but look what we got here. These goodies. We got to dive in these fries. This is from Riley's. Chicken tenders. I do not remember. I do not recall having these. If I have had these, you know, I'm going to ranch. All right. That's good, right? And we got barbecue. Hopefully for the tenders. Uh, hopefully the tenders won't need the barbecue. Right? Hmm. But you never know. But hopefully they're busting without the barbecue. Hmm. Is it probably long overdue because it's been close to our house. And there's multiple times where I probably could have just walked over there. Um, so now we're back with that. I just get one more bite. Oh, I got these these funnel cake fries. Ooh, Ooh. those hit. Those hit. Those hit. Trust me on that. Mm. Oh, I got Sprite. But the reason why I turn on the camera, the reason why I click on that video. Now, what is this? Now, where did it get this out here? Give me a big one. So, this is a good beefy one. Little tender pieces. Little, little break action on that tender. This is what we came for, right? The official chicken tenny review once again. Hopefully, hopefully. Delicious. Let's not dip it first. Let's eat it first. It's not a white crisp. That's the crispy one. Hmm. Just a nice light seasoning. Oh. Hmm. This one's probably this one's a little thinner. So this piece probably a little more dry, but you know. Yeah. It's really oddly shaped. Tender pieces. And this is probably the best, most interesting shaped one. Okay, so just three pockets on this one first. Most evenly shaped all the way around. With the thickness. Hmm. I don't know what to think about these. I feel like a lot of tenders at fast food places are a little dry. I need one more bite of this very nicely. Even thickness one. Just have a little more thick. Uh, this is a better piece. This is a better piece. You know what? A very solid. Tender, right here. You know, I mean, sure they're like juicy. You know, they like there's just a little. It's not really like that juicy. You know, like they're a little too dry, but man, they're more juicy and like moist. Like, like we talking like moist, moist. And that batter has like a consistent crunch in every bite. 
sometimes the batter's a little like a little soggy a little bit. But well, we gotta dip it up. Right now I'm labeling it, I'm labeling it a B, capital B, capital U, capital S, capital S. Bus. Right? Well, we gotta dip them. We gotta dip them in the variety of the sauces. We're dipping the ranch first. Drip out of there. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's a little bite. Right down the business, by the way. I'm gonna play around. Hmm. Okay. Okay, tender with the ranch. Now, I think some of these pieces, like this little piece right here, or this, this, this thin piece right here, might not be the best one. So you probably need to get a little bit of a thicker piece like this one. That's, see, that's the thing with some of these look, some of these places that serve places that serve tenders that I've noticed is that like the thickness of the tenor is just weird sometimes. Sometimes it's like real thin and like inconsistent. And sometimes you get a nice thick actual piece. I would rather have a more consistent piece so I'm not getting a different experience each bite I get because sometimes they're you know overdone. I mean, look at this little thing. Look at this thing. Yeah. Just, well, what happened to this one? I don't know. I never want to touch it. But, mm. I don't know. It's good. I mean, it's good. Oh, let's dip it in the barbecue sauce. Let's dip it in the barbecue sauce. Let's see, let's see what we got in the barbecue sauce. I think we're still bus. B U S S. But maybe we dip it in the barbecue sauce. Maybe the barbecue sauce would be any different. The ranch doesn't really do anything. Honestly, the ranch, really do, the ranch would do a lot better for the fries. The fries here, the Rileys are buzzing. All right? <laughs> the fries are stupid. Oh, and these fries too. Oh, these fries too. I don't know. It was a funnel cake fry. Or a little dessert piece. Mm. I had them all by the time. I mean, I think I recommend eating them. They'll be sitting on a minute because they're that fun. So, and then I'm recording the video, so it's the same. Mm. But those, just as soon as you get them out, fire. Alright, they're fresh. Then eat them, you know what I mean? Spray washing down. It's just something so. I don't know what it is about these tenders in particular, but they're like, they're just so close to being like great, actually. Right? So, and I'll, I feel like I would have remembered eating these. I don't know if I have to go back in the archives and maybe I have eaten these, but I would have remembered by eating these because these are so like kind of like unique and different. Maybe I had something like these. Honestly, these kind of look kind of like the KFCs. Actually, now I think about it. They taste a little like the KFCs. But they might be better than that. Because last time, I remember last time, I might have to give KFC a redemption round. Because last time with it, when I went to KFC for tenders, which is not something I did on YouTube, it's actually something I did on TikTok and didn't upload to YouTube. Um, on live. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give them a B U S S full stop. No N, not even with the sauce. I mean, maybe with the, I mean, maybe with the sausage, let me just go one more time on one. Let me just put in one more dabble in the sauce there. Yeah. It's just, it's a batter. Like sometimes it's crispy, and how you not really that crispy. Crispy. But they're misleading, I and mean, they actually give you a better bet of like chicken than what you think they're gonna get. So, you know. But some of them are not really, you know, as crispy, and like, I take the batter right here, it's part of the batter, she is. 
it's like falls kind of like all mushy hair you know over here that's the other side over here is like all crisp so it's weird it's just a really weird Bradley's tender <laughs> Bradley's tender would be so conflicting it's a weird experience mm, but that not I like bone dry though I don't like bone dry, you know. I mean, some of them are like bone dry, you know. I mean, they're definitely not nearly as good as canes. <laughs> canes with the sauce. So when we set the bar high, when we, when we, when we put tried tenders for the first time on the tender review, we set the bar high, right? Now these are probably like, I mean, Popeyes is like went up there with canes, right? From when I had it, these are like just a couple, a little bit below, you know. Maybe just regular B.U.S. And maybe bust them with the sauce. But the, the sauce doesn't really change it. I don't know why. But the sauce doesn't really do anything. Okay, so. so that's my review. I hope you like it. Uh, I didn't want to. I, I don't know what I would do to make it more interesting. I'm eating chicken nuggets. I mean, I don't know. Let's see what I'm going to try. Solo. Okay, well, it was five of them for like ten dollars. I feel like no matter where you go, tenders are like for some reason overpriced. Oh, holy crap! You go like <laughs> I went to like, when we went down to Chili's. So, like oh, I always, I always want to like look at the tenders and try the tenders there. Like, the regular tenders, but they're always like fifteen dollars for like six. Like, huh? And then, like, I pretty good quality. I mean, you get, like, the triple dipper with, like, the tenders, and it's, like, $15 for the whole thing, and you usually get the tenders, and then... But they have the sauce all around, you know what I mean? I mean you can't be doing tenders with sauce, because... Sauce... It bumps it up to where... Maybe that's what it, maybe, you know what, maybe the sauce is a little bit of a difference to where it bumps it up, so maybe it is. I, I don't know why I'm so confused. You guys could have, somebody's got to go try Checkers and or Riley's Chicken Dinner. And tell me, and tell me now I'm not tripping that these are actually like, it just feels like they don't know, they don't know what they want to be, you know? They don't know what they want to be. They want to hit you with the, they want to hit you with that, that, that right hook. But then, and then all of a sudden they, they, they fake and they dodge out the way and then they jab instead or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Now, last time I was confused about the tenders. Well, it was actually at Pete's, but I didn't even do their video. And it's interesting, like, batter. All right. And I have to go back there and do the video because it's been a while since I had them. That's a whole story that I'll tell probably later. Hope you liked the video. Try to keep it a little short. Maybe it got a little too long. Let me hit one more fry. One more fry. If you, you, you gotta, at least, dude, if you haven't had checkers or Riley's fries, then. <laughs> oh. Love you. See you in the next tender video. If you have any places that fast food that I might have not tried, I should probably try. I mean, you'd have to look at the archives and then tell me, hey, you should try this place for tenders. And I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe so, maybe so. Or even just like, and then like chain restaurants, you know. You think there's like a native nearby? You think a native has like tenders? I don't know. Let me know, man. And if you enjoyed these videos, smash like, leave a comment, all that stuff. I know you're out there. I know you're out there. Like the movie is, right? Right? You watched the end, right? <laughs>